going to demonstrate how to use your Salus IT500 internet controller. Pressing the display on button will show you the current room temperature. To change the current room temperature, use the up or down arrow. I'll just set the temperature, use the tick button. You'll now notice two flashing icons. This one is indicating that the system is firing, and the other that a signal is being sent to the receiver. This is the receiver. The green light indicates that it is paired correctly and the blue light that it is currently receiving a signal. Once your internet is working, you can connect your Salus gateway to your modem. Plug the power in and the ethernet cable straight into your modem. This is a plug and play system. To operate the Salus IT500 remotely by computer or the app, you need to create an account for Salus and register your device. To register an account, head to Google and search Register Salus IT500. This will also be your login screen. On this screen, you can see a quick and easy way to add a bookmark to this page. Click the blue Register button and fill in your details. As I've already got an account, I'll just go back to the login registration page. Once I've logged in, I can click the Add Device button. Your device ID is found underneath the batteries of your Salus IT500. Once you've successfully added your device, you can name it appropriately if you wish, and you can start operating it through the computer. To operate it from your smartphone, head over to your App Store, search for Salus, and download the app. Now I have the app, so I'm going to open it. And you use the same user ID and password to log in. A tip here, when you've entered your password, be sure to hit the return button so that the login button becomes active. As we've already added our device to the computer, we can select it in the app and start to control our system. Once we're inside the app, we have the auto button, which is running off of the schedule. We have the energy save button and the off button. This is the current room temperature. The up and down arrows can override the current set temperature. The hand icon indicates that it's in manual operation and the flame icon indicates that the system is currently firing. The weekly detail button allows us to review and adjust the weekly heating schedule. We can program all days with six periods the same. Using the 5 slash 2 button allows us to program Monday to Friday as a group and Saturday and Sunday as a group. The individual button allows us to program each and every day of the week. Now I'll show you how to program the 5 slash 2. So Monday to Friday we have 6 periods for each day. Each day will be the same. Period 1 would be when the system first comes on in the morning. So here we're setting it for 6am to come up to 22 degrees. Period 2, I'm assuming that we leave the home at 8.30am where we want the system to now reduce to 17 degrees. Period 3, you may come home at 1 o'clock and you want the temperature up again. The last period would be at the end of the day when you've gone to sleep and you want to reduce the system temperature down for cost efficiency. So at 9 o'clock, we're going to reduce the system down to 15 degrees. And at 6 a.m., the system will come back on to reach 22 degrees for when you wake up. Save the program, and it will now communicate with the sellers and start to operate on that program.